Cello cases come in all sizes, colors, price ranges, and brands. I cover three popular brands here, particularly this one, Abam, compared to the other two. So if you're shopping for a cello and you will be buying a cello case, it's important that you realize no matter the price that you pay for this, they will come with a strap and in that strap they connect to the cello case by, well, one of these. I just received a comment on that particular video and the gentleman Robert Sung, thank you for the comment, said, the overall case is extremely light and sturdy, so I am happy with it. For he got the carbon fiber case for $275 off of eBay. Amazing, right? It is very narrow, so if you have anything besides a strut pattern cello, it won't fit. That's important to realize. But then he mentioned something. However, <laughs> in all caps, the latch on the pull strap at the head is very weak and broke the first time I used it pulling my cello down a ramp, which got me thinking. You can spend very little on a, a seemingly good case, right? But then you're going to get something that's going to risk your entire cello, I guess, as a carabiner. And I always thought they were the same. I don't climb rocks, so I'm quite ignorant on this. And so what's interesting, I'll show you, this is quite identical to this. They have plastic protecting. They seem to be made of a light aluminum and they both screw in. As you see right here, this one is busted. It is very low quality. And I wondered why have I used this one for so many years and never had a problem. To better explain what is actually going on, I'm going to have one of the studio students talk about why this, what you see right here, matters. It's the grade of the aluminum. Aluminium on its own is an incredibly strong thing, but it gets made into alloys using zinc and um, magnesium and other things. And what those other things are determine how strong it is, how pliable it is, how likely it is to crack. So the stuff that's made to put liquid in like a beer um, is different than something that would be holding a part of an airplane together. The one on the left, I can see the the silver part is splayed apart where the pin goes through it. Yeah, that one. And it looks like the spring is even on the wrong side of it. It came out, like, yeah, it came out. So the large barrel part is the double security. That's your braces and a belt. Yeah. The spring is the belt. So when you don't have that screwed on tight, um, it should snap closed all by itself and stay closed. Right, which it doesn't because it's, well, it's super cheap. <laughs> yeah, the spring's on the wrong side of it. So it should be latched shut, even if that... Um, like this one here from BAM, right here, like, like that. So even by accident, if you don't happen to screw it shut, it's not going to come apart. Mm -hmm. So that's clearly the superior one. So, but tell me about the, the metal. Um, I'm noticing that they are they both aluminium. It's just the, the quality of aluminium that they use in it is just different. I, I would say so, um, especially since the one in your right hand seems to have bent sideways. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't even maintain the alignment um, to snap into position. Right. So I'd say it's a pretty cheap grade of aluminium. So as Robert just shared with us, the quality of the aluminium is quite important and the spring of course is broken here it should lock shut and when you're here and you're touching the both of them you can feel the quality difference they're just this is weak this is light and i and the student didn't have any idea how important this was yes i tell you the truth i had a student leaving the studio here walking out with a hard case just like this of course not bam and as we were discussing the next lesson, his cello just broke. The strap broke and the cello case fell and hit my wall, almost broke an aquarium. It was very scary. And it was also odd. We found out that this was the, the culprit. This caused it. So he let me keep it, thank goodness. And I've had it for quite some time. And I just wanted to, again, share this with you because I have the exact same form as it appears. 
But unless you're here touching the both of them, feeling the, the quality difference, the aluminum here is so much more robust. This feels a lot lighter. It bends a lot easier, while this one right here, it just it feels so much stronger, even if I try to bend it out a little bit. Even though they look identical, the build quality compared to this and this could result in a broken cello. If, imagine if you're walking down the street and the strap breaks and it falls on the street. Bust a bridge you, or something happens. Oh, don't even think about it. So take my advice. Get a cello case online on Amazon, eBay. It doesn't matter. But the first thing you should do, if it comes with these cheap carabiners, throw that in the bin, go to a proper outdoor store that sells this stuff, carabiners, I guess they're called, and buy you some proper self-snapping hooks that you will be able to secure to your cello case. Because you don't want to have your cello case drop. Okay, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you, Robert Sung, for reminding me that this is a really important issue. And as always, wherever you are in the world, I hope you continue to enjoy this wonderful journey of music discovery and cello case quality discovery too. Bye-bye. <laughs>